All right, welcome everyone to another great episode of Modern Wong Chat. Well, I'm not sure it's going to be great yet. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be great. Uh, this is a show where I get to deep dive into some conversation with my friends from different industries, some from the gaming, some from cosplay, some even from uh, YouTube. Last week, we have someone talking about ASMR. So that was interesting. But anyway, uh, let's get Ryan on the show. Tonight, we do have Ryan Brandt. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, I would love to tell you what he does, but I'll just let him do it for you, uh, for himself. So, all right. Welcome, Ryan. Welcome to the show. Hey there, Martin. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to be back. So it's been a long time. Before the show, we were like, what if we act like very professional? Too proper. Too proper. Very professional. This is a professional stream. Very professional. We're both professionals. Yeah, not on my hentai Christian site. No hentai, <laughs> no swearing. This is a Christian channel, as always. We talk about, you know, our beliefs in great... Our, our pure beliefs. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, anyway, t- Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about you. How would I even describe you? Um, A loser? Okay, we already know that, but... Well, okay, I, I, I don't know then. <laughs> Oh, you know. hi, Kyle. <laughs> hi, Kyle. Julie. Hi, Kyle. Uh, um, yes. Well, uh, how to say? Because uh, we do so many things now. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, every, I guess every, the go-to would be that I make clothes. I think for us, it's what we are doing at that very, not moments, but like what are we really into at that point right now is what we go. Oh, that's what I am. Yeah, like, 100%. Like, for example, we're doing a podcast right now. I could be like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a podcaster. <laughs> I'm a professional podcaster. Professional right podcaster. <laughs> We're professionals here. Thanks for having me, Martin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very professional. Uh, but yeah, no, like, for example, many people know me as photographers. <laughs> but, uh, you got to make that a command. <laughs> I will. I'm not sure what to make it into, though. <laughs> there you go. I'm a professional daddy. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. So yeah, you make daddy. shirts. Um, but when I first met you, you're mostly a cosplayer. Yeah, yeah, I used to cosplay. I forget. I always forget about that. People will DM me sometimes and say, "You're my favorite cosplayer," and I'm like, "What? Who? Me? Who? <laughs> not me. Maybe Wait. a past self from another lifetime." Do you not cosplay anymore? Oh, you still kind of do, but kinda... not as active. I don't remember the last time I did like a proper character though, like actually from something that wasn't original. Do you? Not, wait, something not from original. Like, wh- what's something that I did that was from something? <sighs> Isn't everything you thing. do is kind of from something? I mean... But not exactly a character, huh? Yeah. Well, like, you're right, because it's like a, a dragon. It's like, well, I'm a human dragon. Uh-huh. Well, no, no, I mean, like, something from an actual game. Like, that, the last thing I can remember that was, wasn't was from something, or was from something, was maybe a reaper. But even then, mm. I was like, in a reaper in a pink... Okay. Cupcake dress, you know? Yes. <laughs> it wasn't canon. Like, I don't like canon things. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Huh. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Wait, how did you even get into cosplay? Because uh, you were in Atlanta, right? Yeah, so the first time I ever... My first actual cosplay was when I lived out east. I lived in D.C. And I wanted to go to a convention. And uh, a bunch of my friends were like, let's go to a convention. Like, let's go to a big one. So we found Dragon Con. And then we went to Dragon That's Con. That's like one of like, the biggest one. Yeah, that was my first con ever. So I like kind of jumped into the deep end. And I was I was kind of nervous. So I was like, uh, I'm going to be a Soul Reaper from Bleach. Because I was really into Bleach at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was really nervous because I thought nobody else would have a costume on. And then I went there and everybody had a costume <laughs> on. And I figured out that I was the loser. <laughs> was like kind of underdressed in a way because i had just had you know i i toned it way down i didn't do like the full-blown costume because i was like oh i'm already gonna look stupid and then uh yeah. isn't that ironic like you thought about like you show up and say oh god you know i'm such a weird nerd where i would like dress up it's, it's like yeah. how people see other dress up for watching movies right like yeah. in theater I, I i was prepared to be really self-conscious all that day and then i got there and i was like wow i'm really, really like, self-conscious <laughs> yeah <laughs> then and you, i got even I, more i was self-conscious but for you the, you expect it because everyone else i'm like, making this really badass cosplay it's like okay i see you yeah. like hmm yeah I they had like re- huge armor and stuff and i was like well <sighs> ah, time to really validate all right then. so the next year we went back and I made like some of my own creations and stuff, and then it just kind of escalated. And then you made that 
amazing Vi, I remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I always forget about that. <laughs> that. That was when I actually started um, meeting a lot of the friends that I have now. That's when I met um, Michael, MLZ. Michael oh. Zing. Mm. And he was like, hey, can I put you in my league video? And I was like, oh, okay. And in doing that, I met like a whole bunch of other people in this community. And I was like, oh, my God, I got friends now. Yeah, but that's, that's a problem. Right. Not problem. That's our thing. Once we know someone in the cosplay community, we kind of know everyone very fast. Yeah, that's that's exactly how. It and happened. then they all become your friends. And then you try to find ways of getting rid of them all. <laughs> no, I'm just you can't, but you can't. <laughs> you can't. Think, they're with you for life. It becomes I, family. <laughs> dude, I think the last five weddings I've been to are all cosplay people. Like you I, are roboting so bad right now. Yeah, actually, yeah, you you just kind of. Twitch out no, for a second. No, you did. No, no, uh uh. <laughs> no, but the last, yeah, I think the last five weddings, if not more, are all people I knew from the cosplay world. Yeah. I, when I try to count the friends that I have that aren't in this community, I can easily do it on one hand. Yeah. And if you tell me to start counting how many cosplayers I know, it's like, well, let me take a yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to like count how many friends I don't have in this community. Yeah. yeah because mostly... he's my boyfriend all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. Wait, who said that? Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Pyrofly said, Vi was the first one I saw you in too. Man, that's yeah. a long time ago. You guys are old school. Got the OG in here. Boomers. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> We got the uh, boomer remover right now going on. You are roboting so bad. Right I, I hear you. No, I see that. Every time that happens, you kind of twitch out as well. I don't know if it's my internet's going weird, but. Here, let me let me do something. Are you just downloading a bunch of stuff? Uh... Gigabyte, <laughs> gigabyte of hentai. I'm downloading dildos right now. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car, would you? <laughs> I'm downloading dildos onto a hard drive. All right, I think we're good, right? It looks yeah. green. We're green. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so wait, what was I asking? It's a professional stream. Back to you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Uh, back to the weather. Uh, no, but yeah, the cosplay world, we just can't get out of it. And it's just very deep. And I, I started like, what, 10 years ago? Oh, my God. No, no, sorry. Over 10 years ago. Way oh, my God. Ago. Yeah. We can, I can even use the word decade. That's scary. <gasps> it's Jess. Oh, hello, Jess. Um, hello, Jess. Is she, is she in the house right now? Yes. That happens she's, a lot. She's in the walls. <laughs> she could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, I can hear her. <laughs> you hear her screaming. I did. Ah! No, I did that to my... Hi, Jess. <laughs> hello, dear. Uh, no, I do that sometimes in my... What did you say? <laughs> I don't know. What? I think she just said hi, Martin. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I do that to my housemates sometimes because they'll be streaming and I'll be watching their stream. And I'll say how loud I can scream until I can hear myself. Sometimes when she's on Discord calls, mm -hmm. um, I'll go into the bathroom, which is right next to the office, her office. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if yeah. I like have a good poop, I'm like, I wonder if they can hear me pooping. <laughs> it's so, is it's is so that how mind. you define a good poop, like a very loud one? Right, like if if her Discord buddies can hear my poop, then we're good. Mm. Like yes, <laughs> I see you're also a man of culture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, but you don't really cosplay as much anymore, right? No. Why not? No, it just takes so much time, and I'm just I don't know. So once in a while. I get these creative spurts where uh, for like a day, I'll be like, oh, I want to make that. That's so cool. And then I'll start working on it for literally maybe like seven or eight hours. And then that's mm -hmm. it. That's all the time I can invest into something. And then I get really bored and have to go do something else. Do you think it makes a difference that you're dating a cosplayer? Mm. Like, I wonder what would be like, because you're dating cosplayer, so you still get exposed. You still have that like, oh, cosplay. I see it, you know? Yeah, it kind of like watching her work on stuff and progressing on stuff makes it, it kind of satisfies that fix, I guess. But that's the best part. You can watch it without actually doing it's it. It's like watching somebody stream. 
It's like you don't uh-huh. have to play a game sometimes because you just watch, you know, your favorite streamer play it, and then you're like, ah, satisfied. And you don't, don't stream anymore too. You used to stream a lot. Yeah, and then I kind of just, well, it's because like okay, so I used to stream a lot. That was like my full time thing, and then I mm-hmm. started making like shirts and clothes and hats, and then that started taking up so much more time than the streaming stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember Mike from Filthy Casual, he told me it's going to be very hard to be a streamer and run a clothing brand at the same time. And he was and like, I'm going to have to pick one. Well, you're like, nah, I can do both. Yes, 100%. And I think I we all did. For like, we like, and then yeah. a couple months, and I, I slowly realized that you can't... What's that saying? Like, you either half-ass both or you full-ass one of them? Mm, yeah. So kind of made a decision there it was like a pivot a complete ass now oh my god just as gifting subs left and right Giving sub. no but yeah i see I, i'm worried because i know i'm doing more streaming stuff <laughs> am i supposed to start making clothes now and then be like nope i can't stream anymore is yeah, that a progression march <laughs> is that how, how that's supposed to be? Dude, i actually want to make those tags that you have those tags are somewhere it's on my backpack right now but on my camera backpack you should i love it so. You need a you need like a, a banging ass logo. Yeah, my logo sucks a lot. It doesn't suck. You just need something like I don't know. I'm biased though. I like futuristic looking stuff. Of course you do. So <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Like I we, we keep I, oh actually I'm gonna bring this up to you. I'm not sure you'll be uh interested in this. It's really interesting how every futuristic movies is always like Hong Kong ish with all the sign and Chinese characters oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So it's actually really right down my alley. Because that's the future. Yeah. Except it's just a <laughs> bunch of white people with Chinese writing. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait. It's like, have you seen um, the new... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, how do I say it without spoiling it? Have you seen the new Westworld episode? I have not yet. I know it was okay. out last night. But it's yeah. like set in the future, yeah. Yeah, but because it's set in the future, they filmed... Uh, this is public knowledge. It's not a spoiler. Mm. But they filmed a lot of it in Singapore. Mm. But it's oh, because... Okay. The East is just so in the future as far as architecture. going to be around, yeah. And just, you know, modernization. Oh, yeah. Time. Well, here's the thing, because I think it's a back and forth thing, right? With um, America used to be, like, the forefront of, like, future, right? Because, like, we... Right, right. Like, because we got, like, ancient, like, Chinese stuff or Korean, like, all this, like, ancient culture, Egyptian. So they're already back in the days. So we have right. all this, like, oh, future is, like, America's future. I think America has settled down for a little bit, you know, finally. Yeah, it kind of plateaued, right? It's like yeah. the Industrial Re- Revolution popped off. Mm-hmm. And all the way up to like the, probably like the 70s, kind of everything mm-hmm. is just plateaued as far as... And I was like, oh, we're cool, you know? You know what and- I think it is? I don't think Americans like to take risk. They don't like change. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, the whole con- inception of America was already a risk. And I think they took it and they're good. They're like cruising that wave, you know? <laughs> They're like, hey, we're still kind of alive here. Yeah, we're still <laughs> Let's here. Just chill. Let's chill. Let's we don't chill need for anything a bit. else. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shoot, maybe we do need something else. Huh. Do, do we need better healthcare? No, 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 no. Don't nah, fuck with the system. Nah. <laughs> just the system's it. great. Just let people die. <laughs> just, yeah. Just it's, leave it alone. New York subway is a disaster. <laughs> nice Have you, ass, Ryan. Thanks, Bubbly. <laughs> Have Sorry. you been to uh, New York? <laughs> Have I been to New York? Of course. Yes. I used to live on the East Coast. I used yeah, to go exactly. Right? right? Exactly. So the subway, man. But New York subway compared to like Tokyo subway. Uh-huh. Not even. Not even close. Doesn't yeah. even hold a light to it. Exactly. So I don't it's know. Dirty, more it's scummy. It's. Yeah. I'd I rather I've... walk than take the New York subway. I've seen more rats have sex on the subway than anywhere else. So I mean, not that. I want that as a text tone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like I normally watch rats having sex because that'd be weird. If I, like, oh yeah, where should I go today? You know, to watch some uh, rat sex. <laughs> Every time you text me, I just want to hear. I've seen some rats have sex in the subway. <laughs> it's a ringtone. <laughs> like every time I text you, that's the ringtone. It's like, oh, Martin. Yeah, I miss him. Uh, hey, Martin. <laughs> rat fucking. Yeah. New anyway, speaking of uh, that, have you seen Beastars yet? Oh, sorry, where is this transitioning? <laughs> no, I have I not. No, it's really good. I haven't seen the last what, like three episodes, what is it? but just showed anime? it to me. It's an anime, but it's like like anthropomorphic animals. Ooh, what do you mean? It's so they're like people, like humanized animals. So is it like that one with the I know the waifu ones. 
No. Like what? that. Have you seen the waifu ones? Like the one that with like the uh, the horse girl and then the the snake kind of girl. Oh I, no 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 no! Not that those monster girls. Yeah, monster girls. No, kind of they're thing. like they're like uh, they're like actual animals. So they're like you know one's a wolf, one's a a bunny, one's okay. a deer, but they're like people bodies. So it's like those books that we read when we were kids. Yeah, yeah, but it's good because but all of them have good. a lot of fun. It's I don't want to spoil it, but it's good. See, we're talking about stars. We're talking about beast stars. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she showed it to me. It's so good. So unlike you, I'm actually a fake nerd. Even I mean, though your brand is the fake nerd. No, listen. I don't know shit about anything, to be honest. You could name any game other than the ones that I very openly play, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. See, Same I would... Anime. The problem is that I would know something, and then I would just nonstop reading about it. Because, like, I so sometimes I do photo shoots, right? In right. In case you don't know. <laughs> I didn't but, know. <laughs> uh-huh. But no, I, I would shoot cosplayer, and then I would have never seen the anime before. And then I watch, and then I like, oh, let me just find out what is their eye colors. And next thing you know, I'm on wiki page for two hours. Yeah, because you're deep diving. Yeah, like way like, deep. Like literally, Jess will be like, I'm making this person from this anime, and I have no idea. And the only reason I end up knowing who the character is and what the anime is eventually is just from seeing her absorb herself into something and binge watching it and... You know, but like I know the details, like I can pick, I don't watch a lot of anime. I watch eh, a decent amount, but not like a lot, a lot. I'm not like in it, but the reason I know all the characters from a lot of it at cons is because I see her deep diving it constantly. What's your favorite? Favorite anime? Yeah. Ever? Pokemon? I mean, if we're so, yep. if, <laughs> is That's Pokemon it. an anime? Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah. Where's the line between cartoon and anime? I would say... I mean, it's probably gotten blurrier as time's gone on. Right. I mean, in the past, I would say it's a, cartoons that came from Japan. But now you have things like Ruby and other CGI-based anime. But they're also inspired by Japanese styles? Yeah. So I would still call that anime. With, with only American type car cartoon. That's a good question. Like, so here's also the thing, right? Because for American cartoons are always for kids, right? Yeah. But can you make adults? But then that's a that's a hentai, but like adults ish, <laughs> like for mature audience. Well, like cartoon, yeah, like Rick and Morty, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But would you call so, Rick and Morty an anime? I mean, that'd be pretty sick if somebody drew it like an anime. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's like some YouTube video of like making opening. I of, guarantee uh, you there's Rick I'm and Morty sure there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure of that. hundred yeah. percent. But but yeah, so I don't know, it's anime. Oh my god, Jess. Jess is just gifting out subs. Let's go. I wish I had my old streaming switchboard. <laughs> exactly. It's like <laughs> Yep. We just have to do it like every time she does it. So I'll like, just oh. do it with her mouth. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and now I'm gonna protest. Like, oh, what was that? You know. <laughs> I still gotta <laughs> play old emotes. <laughs> but yeah, we we're blurring the line between east and west a lot, both in futuristic. I mean, you can tell in the future. So I guess anime and cartoon are just like. Mm, getting well, even like fashion, because I I look at fashion stuff all the time, mm -hmm. especially when we go to Japan. And I will say, and people will probably disagree with me, but I think Japanese fashion these days kind of sucks. 95% mm. of the stores that I go into in Tokyo have Americanized stuff. It's kind of like if you go on a Forever 21 here uh -huh. and you see just like, it says like Tokyo and has like, you know, katakana it, on it. Character. Mm. Over there, it's all just shirts with like English words on it. So are we not far from having like Asian having a tattoo that's a one American word on it, like honor? Wouldn't shock me at all. I think they're kind of behind as far as tattoo culture just because it's not openly accepted. <laughs> but I oh, guarantee yeah. so, as soon as it starts popping off, they're going like, to have a bunch of random words on them. They don't know what it means. Just like Americans get like, you know, Chinese characters on their arms and stuff. And they have no <laughs> fucking clue what it means. Because over there is still like a gangster thing to have a tattoo, you know? Only misfits yeah. or like, you know, 
criminals have those. I mean, even with Pokemon tattoos, they just see it and I can't get into some places like onsens and stuff. Yeah. Even Pokemon, they're like, this is a Pikachu, man. Like, you guys made this, man. You made this shit. They don't shit. care. They're like, that's <laughs> cute, but get out. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, but leave, please. You're making people nervous. They're like, ah, that's cool, uh, but get out. <laughs> but get out. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for the days when, like, you know, whips like dumb English word on some Asian. Like, I'll be like, what does that say? And they're like, uh, I don't know. It's a dick. So it's cool. a dildo. <laughs> it just says dildos. <laughs> I saw I know a friend uh, I saw a friend yesterday uh, on stream you know because I'm not seeing them but they were wearing a shirt it's a Nintendo shirt but below it, it says some there's some Chinese character on it and I'm like that doesn't mean anything and I thought I'm wrong because I have to look it up and I Google it too and then someone's like yeah I bought that shirt too it means nothing I guess yeah. I have to make that command now I'm not sure what it's gonna show up um it's gonna be like link to your <laughs> fitner.com oh my god can we <laughs> is it fitner.com though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I, I'm jumping like all over the place. Fake nerd stock. How do you even get fake nerd in the first place? The idea of it, the conception of like, oh yeah, I want to be a fake. God, like it, in brand. the beginning. Yeah, like the, in the beginning. Um, it, I did it as like a. I was kind of taking a piss out of the term. Like, it's like gatekeeper guys that call women fake nerds or. You know, you can't be in my community because you don't know enough about X, Y, Z. It, it was kind of me taking a piss out of that and being like, well, I don't know shit, but nobody questions me because I'm a guy and it kind of annoyed me. So I just did it as like a joke, kind of like a fuck you. Like, well, I'm a fake nerd, but you're not going to say shit, are you? And that, I have a penis. <laughs> that culture is actually still very prominent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But still nobody questions me ever. Because Even if you, I like chime in and I'm, if I see somebody getting, you don't know this about that game. I'm like, neither do I. And you follow me and you're always nice to me. So, and, shit I on me so dumb. and they're like, it's, oh, that's okay. You have time to catch up. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's extremely what? dumb though. Like I, I can't, again, I can't wait when people could just shit on people because they suck. Yeah. I don't know that that's going to stop. But we can help I mean, it not be in this community. <laughs> that kind of work when it comes to like racism. That kind of work in Asia, because what does um the whole like we hate people because they suck, not because of their race. Because in Asia, everyone, all my friends, everyone that went to school was Chinese. I can't be like, oh yeah, you suck, you dirty Chinese. Oh my god, that made my butt right? hole clench just you saying that. That's a question because like, no, you cannot you oh. cannot call someone out for the race. You know, because they're exactly, everyone's the same. <laughs> Martin, you said that. I'm like sweating now. <laughs> <laughs> my my knee jerk reaction. Every time you say some shit like that, it's like, you can't say that. Why do you it's say like, that? Oh, no. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, we don't say it. That's the thing. We don't say it because we can't. That's no, so it's just like, oh, yeah, you suck because you kick a puppy. It does. Yeah. Or like, you suck because your, <laughs> your face. Your face. Is that a thing? Know. No, nobody kick puppy. I'm just saying if People they kick do, puppies? if they no, no. But if they do, that I would call them. They suck because they do that, but not because they're like certain did race or whatever they're born with. But did you die though? No, but Martin cut out. This is my stream now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to the Fake Nerd Boy Show. Wait, I can hear. Can you I'm hear your, me? I'm your new host. Am I muted? I'm not muted. Am I? <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> All right, can chat hear me? Chat can hear me. It's you, Ryan. <laughs> I, I know you can hear me. I can hear. Wait, they, you they, can hear Martin? I can't hear can, Martin. They can hear all of us. It's you. We hey, can chat. Hear you. If you can hear me, say we can hear. We can hear <laughs> what, Martin. What, what, what kind of what kind of production is this? This is your computer problem. <laughs> there you are. It's not me. <laughs> yeah. See this. <laughs> Do you see this chat is telling me they can hear they me? They said they can hear both of us. Yeah, I know that. Your your camera went away. Mine was still on. What? Is it Discord? Maybe. Wait, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see you too. Can oh, you see wait. me? Wait, yeah. That's no problem. Wait, I thought you couldn't hear or see me. I couldn't a second ago. Oh, but are we good now? We're good now. Hmm, okay. What, good. What's happening? On my end, everything is perfect. 
Anyway. Oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Where were Thanks we? for having me back. Yeah. <laughs> Fake nerd. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, so but was, there's still lots of like making fun of people. That's all. There's still lots of sexism, though, in our gaming industry. Oh, hundred percent. But I, you might you have a. I want to hear your take on this. Why are we not having as many, let's say, professional woman gamer? It's because like I thought it's more skill skill based, right? You if you win, you go up. But is it because right. they never even had a chance to practice and play as much because there's not not an environment that cater or like not even cater. But um, like, make it so I'm gonna throw out a disclaimer real quick and say I'm not a woman, so take my word worth a grain of salt. I'm probably not the person anybody wants to hear uh, my opinion on that. However, I will just say from um, a guy's point of view, I feel like the culture is very gamer culture is toxic as fuck. It's part of the reason I don't not that I don't stream. I don't know, dude. Gamer culture just kind of sucks in general. I like that there's like esports and stuff, but I don't like talking to the community very often. So is it because the people in the esports e community industry is too young or the whole industry is too young? I don't think it's about age. I think it's just the culture itself. It, it breeds toxicity. Like when you look at some of the top streamers, mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, I'm not going to name names, but it's just, they're just shitting on people constantly. Like the, the whole culture of that chat will just kind of breathe, you know, shitting on each other as a joke it reminds me a lot of high school mm. it's very like high school humor like ha -ha, you're an idiot ha -ha, fuck you but ha -ha. see here's the that's thing. like it reminds you of high school but because those are high school and young kids i don't think they grow up i think being uh, a professional i i think i think what happens when you're young and you get a lot of attention and a lot of money like a lot of you know pro players and pro streamers um, it gives you kind of a license to not have to grow up mm -hmm. and you don't get checked by the real world as much because you mm -hmm. are surrounded with other people that act the exact same way and you don't have to go get a real job ever and experience people kind of putting you in line. Mm -hmm. And I think what happens when it goes that way is that's just the norm. So you're like, I can act this way. Nothing bad is going to happen. And if somebody shits on me, I'll tell them to fuck off and then keep going about my business. You don't have to learn to like get along with other people and because it's all thing, internet based. The scary thing is that the more they do that, the bigger they get and they also get more money from it, more eyeballs. Right. Yeah. And it's I think kinda... that's the problem with, with being, it's like a double-edged sword, you know, internet's mm -hmm. great because anybody can make Say a whatever. job out of anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we kind of have to, we're quarantined. It's great. I, I love it. I love that, you know, a 16 year old can jump on a video game and pop the fuck off and be a millionaire. You know, it's mm -hmm. cool. Um, it's a great opportunity for a lot of Especially people. Especially for people who are not, I mean, that's also due to how you're born, right? Kind of like, oh, you're in a place where you don't have that access to the community, the industry. Now you can do it mm -hmm. anywhere you want. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, 100%. Right, middle yeah, of the country. You yeah. could live anywhere you want and do it. But at yeah. the same time, because it's internet based and everybody's anonymous, mm -hmm. it kind of, Anybody can say whatever they want at the same time. And I think if you have never worked at a nine to five, it like I feel like working at a nine to five changes you. I think working any kind of real job changes you. Like uh -huh. working in the service industry or you know, mm -hmm. in an office. I've kind of done all of that stuff. I used to work retail. I've worked jobs where I'm in a cubicle with a tie on, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think because I was in the real world before I came into this world, mm -hmm. I, I kind of have a decent balance and i can go in and out i can talk you can, to you can be professional but also very casual right yeah but I, I feel like a lot of those what were we talking about oh women getting shit on <laughs> yeah i feel like what happens is in that culture mm -hmm. whether they believe it or not it's you know there's this camaraderie around trying to like dunk on women mm -hmm. and it's really obnoxious to watch i think it's um, stupid. Well, yeah, it's very, and very unnecessary, very unnecessary, but it, they all pat each other on the back for it. You know, it, yeah. it, they have a place to go where others encourage it, which doesn't help. You don't I mean, have people going, hey, dude, shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> There's a lot of weird behaviors, and we can kind of talk more about this now. I kind of and and I mean this is not new, but it has been around for a while. But it's still really strange and disgust. Not not really disgusting, but I mean, it's not my thing. But also find it strange. But do you know what is like the tribute? I was talking to a friend <laughs> yeah, about it. I, I know what that is. <laughs> do you want to describe We're it? Talking about the same thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know. What, do, I do you know want to explain is. what it is? Oh God, we're taking this to like a rated <laughs> R chat real quick. It's already been rated R from everything we've said so far. So. <laughs> Kate said, "Wow, yeah. Martin." <laughs> Next thing you know, she's gonna screaming too. She's gonna scream into my room the same way that Jess did. You know, <laughs> said, good time to come in. Come in too. <laughs> I can imagine people coming into chat and they just hear Martin go, "Do you know what a tribute is?" Really? <laughs> <laughs> and here's why that yes. Oh God! Wow, someone um, actually tested it now. Oh, look, it works. Check that out. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate you. <laughs> um, wait, where's this going? Because before I well, have yeah, to define happen. what that is for people, yeah. what, what are we getting into? Well, we're talking about like behavior that people kind of, the whole reason we talk about this was because like people doing the same circular behavior and pat each other back on this. Sure. This is, this is a big pat each other back kind of. Okay. Yeah. I know exactly where this is going. And yeah. Yeah, it's a very. Here's the thing, like, yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to kink shame anyone, but at the same time, is, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's well, it's the it's the same reason, you know. Those I saw people posting um shit from like those weird corners of the internet where people talk about like how they stalk women oh. because that's it, like gives them a rush and they were like defending their actions by being like, well, I don't, I don't hurt them. I just like to scare them a little bit because that's the only time that I've noticed. And I'm like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Like, yeah. that's a normal person train of thought, you know? And if mm -hmm. they were in real society, that would be the common reaction is like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? Put that guy in jail. Like, are you kidding me? That's just Wait. like, you're asking for trouble from that person. Did it help? And gonna evolve out of that. That's it's like, talking kid, about. like yeah. killing cats, you know, that kid's going to yeah. become a fucking serial killer. Mm -hmm. So, but when you have the internet, it lets these weird little cesspools breathe where there's other people that go, yeah, that's probably normal. Cause that's how I think. But if there's so, somebody else that thinks that way, I'm normal. So exactly. So the first part of this thing is not that bad ish. It's more of a kink. Okay. But the second part is that they will actually send pictures of that. Behavior. You're talking I about tributes, it. right? Yes. Uh -huh. They'll send it to the girls that they do that to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I've gotten them. Please, please, fake nerd. Can you, can you explain this so I don't have to? No, you do it. I don't <laughs> want to do it. Okay. So, so let me, okay. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. It's because I, I <laughs> just said I leave. <laughs> I, I hear about it sometimes. And... Oh, she left for 10 minutes. Oh. And it comes back. It got weird, dude. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. Hold on before this gets too nutty. I didn't uh -huh. bring this up. I didn't bring it up. Oh, <laughs> Look what you've done, Martin. <laughs> Brandon. What? Um all right. Well, anyway, since we're in this, it's kind of how to like weird to go like, let's get out of this. Um Change but my gears. understanding of this. Um is it tributes with an S? Like, is it prolized? It, it doesn't matter. I don't Mo even know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what? Being just screaming a lot in the background. Yeah. That's why you don't leave the show. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so uh, <laughs> no, I still want to explain this because like, there's because someone's gonna talk about it some days. <laughs> Explain and then someone okay you know, should we skip it then <laughs> skip it <laughs> all right i guess you guys have to google this then this is uh yeah if you want if people want to know about it like actually yeah there's a lot of things people want to know they can go google it just go google the dictionary if you want yeah I, i'm sure you don't have to go that far but yeah so it does that <laughs> jesse people do a lot of strange thing on the internet <laughs> he said i unfortunately know what that means uh anyway Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> let's talk about fake nerd. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, clothing, clothing stuff. Lordy. Tell me about your clothing stuff. Where, where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> How long have it been? Um, hi guys, welcome uh, to Modern Wong Chats. Let's restart the whole show. 
<laughs> hey, Martin, thanks for having me. It's good to be here. <laughs> oh, God. Jess just threw it out there. Wow. Well, right. if you, you have to, so if you're on watching this live on stream right now, you can get to see people explain it. So making sure you watch it next time live on stream <laughs> on twitch.tv slash modern one photo instead of, you know, waiting for VO even. Yeah, you can't even see the chat in VOD uh, on YouTube. Yeah, you or can. You can on Twitch. No, no, on Twitch you can. But not yeah, on, yeah. No, no. So, yeah. Follow me on twitch.tv slash modern one photo. Oh, Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Frick Nerd, your clothing stuff. I actually want to know, tell me a little bit about that journey because it's not just about your brand. I'm not trying to like, I mean, you can promote yourself if you want, but this is not straight a promotion. But like, what is that like making a shirt brand? Like where where we are at now in that space? Is everyone making those merch? And I know you know a lot of people in our space also making shirts. Is it a good space to get in now? Is it bad or how? What is the weird stuff in it? That is so much to unpack. Um, so much. Uh, I kind of got into it by mistake because I kind of mentioned earlier how I was a streamer and then I started making clothes and then that ended up taking way more of my time. Mm. And then I kind of switched over to that, started taking it more seriously. And I at first I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to make like gaming apparel, but then I also wanted to make anime stuff. But then I also wanted to make just branded stuff. And so I had to kind of like narrow it in and narrow my interests because I can't, I was trying to take on too much at once. How long, when, when did you start it? How long has it been? 20, end of 2017. Mm. It's almost so two years and a half now. Yeah. yeah. God, that's a long time. I actually remember when you first started out too. Yeah, it was, it was on, I started on Teespring. Mm-hmm. That was a while ago. Yeah, I started putting stuff on Teespring and then they ended up um, stealing my shit and putting it on eBay. Dang. And it kind of, yeah, fuck them. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. I don't give a shit. Fuck them, dude. Um, yeah, they would take my stuff. Did they do that to lots of people? I don't know if they practice? did it to other people. I had a bunch of problems with them. Though. Wait, did they do it or someone else? Just copied no, they it? did it. Oh, wow. They took my shit and put it on their eBay store. People were sending me links to the eBay and be like, Hey, somebody's stealing your designs. And it said it was the, uh, that the official eBay store. So I like hit them up and I was like, Hey, is this your official store? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, can you not sell my designs on your yeah. store? And they're like, Oh, sorry, that shouldn't be happening. I'm like, well, it is. So take it down. <laughs> they sound like, Oh, uh, really? I didn't know that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. They were like, Oh, well. And I was like, you know, it's not cool. And then uh, a couple times people would uh, copy my designs and put them back up on Teespring. And I would mm. hit them up and be like, hey, this guy's, uh, you know, selling my designs. Can you take them down? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, right away. And then they would take my shit down and leave theirs up. So yeah. at that point, I was like, you know, I got to think about another way to do this. So then I just went into full blown. Uh, I was like, I'll just make my own stuff then. And then Mike from Filthy Casual, he helped me out a lot with getting set up. Mm. So kind of went from there. It was like, it was a, it was a kind of tumbling through the mud way of figuring out how to do that. You know? Is it like, is it easier to get in now? Like, would you say, so for a lot of industry that we know, right? Let's say cosplay, gaming, mm. or like even mm. last week I was talking to a friend that's in the ASMR world. She was saying that's like, is GB a lot. Yeah. GB. Yeah. Oh, I love her. Yeah. It's, really hard to get in now like even if i started cosplay photography now it'd be very hard right. to get you know very involved as, as much as i would now so do you think that is the case so first of all your shirt is it considered in the anime world or the gaming world or both somewhere in between i don't know i think it's kind of i mean is like it, i do anime uh -huh. inspired stuff but i wouldn't consider my brand like an anime brand like i would with like you know low like key. low key or four eyes or something Mm -hmm. um what you're wearing but right it's now. also not like a gaming brand it's more mm -hmm. i don't know and i kind of like that i like that there's ambiguity to it and that it's a little more neutral not that i don't like the anime brands but just for myself i feel like there's a lot of anime brands right now and mm -hmm. i see them popping up like five a day i'll get sponsored ads on my instagram of this brand that brand there's another new company and i think it's awesome because the more 
companies and brands there are, the more creative people have to be, you know? Is it harder to get in there now then? Or is it easier now? I don't like know. I think it would be easier. I think it's harder to get recognized. Because, um, mm-hmm. you know, with the with any industry, the more of something right. that there is, the more it starts to blend together. Mm-hmm. The more resources but, people can get started, but then it's also more right. saturated. It's easier to get started. It's like, um, like music, you know? Like, I used to do music and do band stuff 10 years ago. And it was it was just at the birth of you know, MySpace becoming like a huge music platform and Mm -hmm. anybody could upload songs and it it started, that was like the start of anybody being able to do it, I think. And now it's like everybody has the resources to do anything. You could YouTube Mm -hmm. how to do this and oh yeah, that's it. It's actually easier for me to YouTube like how to learn Photoshop than actually asking someone how to do Photoshop. Yeah, 100%. If I I don't know how to do something in Photoshop, I just... YouTube yeah. it, and there are 20 videos to tell me step by step. <laughs> so I'm like, cool, I'm a professional photographer now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's it's a nice blend of both. Mm-hmm. And, pe- you know, people ask me a lot of times, like, how do I start a clothing brand? And I'm like, I would love to take the time to tell you, but there are people out there that professionally make videos and how to get started on that stuff that would tell you way better than I would. Also, there's no right way to do it. That's the problem. Right. Yeah, there's no blueprint. Yeah, I I mean, I guess, oh, um, I'm glad there isn't, but I'm also wish there was one. But that's what makes it so special because you can't really say like, oh, you must do it this way to, for you to succeed or else everyone will do it. Right. But uh, I mean, I so we know a few friends and brand that's, you know, in an anime clothing brand kind of thing. But I right. feel like that pop up crazily in the last i don't know two years yeah and i think it's also getting too many mainstream you see too many yeah well it's i think a lot of it's because now you see popular artists like uh billy eilish and stuff wearing anime kind of designs on their hoodies and shit and now even like uh if you go to forever 21 half Mm -hmm. of their clothes are like dragon ball z or michael b jordan loves saying that he loves anime yeah it's becoming like really popular and acceptable to like anime which is awesome because it's great for everybody, mm-hmm. but you're also going to see more brands like that coming out. So I think for people that don't like competition, that's a that's a oopsie to get into that world because it's going to get more competitive. But I'm not like I don't know. I'm very much of the 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 idea like a rising tide raises all ships. I think the more of something and the more support there is um, within a community, the better everybody's going to do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Because the more brands there are, it's like people start liking those brands and then find other brands like it. And then now they discover you because of that person who otherwise they would have no idea who you are. But I don't know. I, I, I think it's getting better and better for all of us, uh, especially in the anime gaming. I mean, as we said earlier, right, the whole crossover between anime and cartoon. Mm, yeah. Um, and it's the same for like even the whole Marvel. I think like Marvel, how like make comics be or nerds kid stuff become biggest pop culture right now yeah and I, I know we've talked about this and i've heard you talk about it i think on here but it's like when you get into an uber and somebody says like <laughs> oh what do you do it's mm-hmm. becoming increasingly easier to explain what we do because mm-hmm. of how mainstream the whole culture is becoming yep yep and so like you can yeah like you even just... if they don't know what anime is you... they know oh i do like anime kind of clothing like what's anime and like oh like kind of nerdy stuff like you know comic stuff and i just throw that out there it's not the same but it kind of mm-hmm. makes him go oh okay you know what what's crazy for me is that like uh the other day i was playing league of legends and then i saw someone use like a move you know in abilities in the game and like that's the lv logo and I'm like uh, louis vuitton i was like i do know that collaboration between louis vuitton and riot right but it still blows my mind because louis vuitton is one of the biggest clothing brand or like name brand out there like yeah. we talk about like a purse like Three thousand dollars, you know. Yeah, uh, and it's in a video game that I play on a daily. Well, it's and, like uh, same thing with like brands like Supreme and stuff. They're a skateboard brand, which obviously yeah. everybody knows Supreme now. Mm-hmm. But for a company like Supreme to be collaborating with Louis Vuitton is it's nuts. Like when they make skate decks together and handbags and stuff, I'm like that's cool. Like a yeah. skateboard brand is working with a luxury brand. That's I don't know. It's cool for everybody. I feel like. Does it devalue the brand? Or does I it... don't think so. I think it 
and and that's that kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier is I feel like a rising tide raises all ships because a brand I don't it's way easier for a brand to be lifted than it is for another brand to be pulled down. Uh-huh. And I think too many people look at their brands and they're like, I don't want my brand to be devalued, but that's so hard to devalue a brand unless you like really Some fuck something stuff. up. Yeah. But I feel like elevating another brand is way easier and quicker. So I, I feel like that collaboration would have no effect on Louis Vuitton, but it's going to have a lot on Supreme and kind of boost them up more. Is that the same for also influencers? Like, is it really easy to bring an influencer up than to pull someone down? I think so. Unless I mean, again, unless, the, really unless the first one like does something really stupid, you know? In the N-word on stream. Oh, my God. Or that one guy who uh, who pulled a gun or accidentally shot a gun. Oh, yeah. That was so dumb. That was really dumb. I saw that. I, the, the stupid thing is it's like, I don't know, dude. I don't. I don't know him. I hadn't, I'd never even heard of him until that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I only but, saw the video too. Yeah. But I'm just like, first of all, don't fucking pull a gun out on your stream, you dunce. Mm-hmm. And second of all, like you were obviously drinking because you had a beer can right in front of you. Mm-hmm. But then the apology. I don't know, dude. There was a wonky thing. Did he make about an apology? That. The, the apology. Yeah, he made an apology video, but it was just a lot of talking about him and how hard he worked to get where he was. I'm like, this doesn't sound like an apology. It sounds like you're trying to. Talk about everything that you're losing because of it, and you're bummed because of it. You don't sound sorry for firing a fucking gun on your stream. He only got like banned for a day, right? I think. I don't know. I have no idea. I know his he had his team dropped him, which is good. Oh, he was part of team. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he was part of Soar, but they dropped him. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I after the first like day or two, I didn't see too much about it, but just like, dude, what are you doing? And then a lot of the comments were like, he apologized. That should be enough. I'm like, well, you could have killed somebody or yourself. So <laughs> maybe yeah, well, that. yeah, exactly. Like the best thing is that he didn't kill anybody. That right. I mean, that could have gone really badly. Like he could have killed himself on stream or somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I mean, he did shoot. He did shoot a can of C4. I can not C4. Um, sorry, uh, G fuel. I think or something. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's weird branding. <laughs> It's weird, bro. Maybe it's an ad. Maybe the whole thing was an ad. You didn't know, you know? Oh my gosh. It's like the, the outrage marketing. If you get to collab with a company, let's say the Fickner brand, what would you want it to be? Like with another company or like yeah. with a person? No, with a company. I mean, you can, person is easy or easier. Uh, you know? But let's say a company. Company. Oh man, that's a hard question. You mean like a like a mainstream brand, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, like let's say if, Louis Vuitton come to you. It's like, we want to make a big nerd line, but of course. Oh, duh. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But like, what would be a company that you'd be like, yeah, baby. I mean, all of them would be like, baby, I'm down. But which one's like, that's the one like, that I really one wanted. Like, which one would I like, want First to? First one I really wanted. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, fuck, that's hard. Maybe like Off-White? Oh, okay. I actually, I see a lot of Off-White's product, but I don't really know what are they. I just see a bunch it's, of belts. Really long belts. Yeah, it's just like another kind of um, fringe kind of. It's popular now, but it's kind of like along the same lines as Supreme. Supreme. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I like their designs a lot more because mm-hmm. it's more techy, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's very simplistic. It's hard. It's hard to make it very cool and simplistic. It is, and it shouldn't be where it is. <laughs> but the marketing <laughs> is fantastic because a lot of times it's just words. I mean, Sam was Supreme. It's just one word. It's yeah, it's just, but you know, the marketing, you know, what are you going to do? You can't stop it. That's why it's a hype beast. <laughs> the more people talk about it, the more people want it, including me. I'm like, I want to collab with them. <laughs> this is dumb. I want it. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it makes it cool in a way. Cause if I just saw some other brand that did what they did, I'd be like, that's dumb. But because they, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's the hype or what it's just, it's a lot of it's marketing. It That's makes it for cool. an influencer, right? Because like we, it's less about how you influence. I'm not sure what's the right word. Because like we have many types, right? We got gamers, we got um, blogger, we got fashion, fashionista, whatever they are. But it's more about how they market. Like technically, I don't even know what Supreme was. I still don't really know. Other than it's a really expensive brand because people love it. Then that's it. It is now. It it didn't used to be back in uh-huh. the day. I remember seeing Supreme stuff like way back in the day, and it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like any other clothing brand. Like it was like Quicksilver, a skateboard brand. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like um <clears throat> Quicksilver. Like if you look at Chuck's, like Chuck Taylor's, like the shoes. Uh-huh. Like 
way back in the day when I was in high school, those were like $15 for a pair of Chucks. Now, if mm. you go into any store, they're like 45, 50. Damn. And it's just because they blew up. They popped off. Everybody wanted them. It was no longer like a punk, you know, mm-hmm. metal thing to buy. It was like everybody liked Chucks and then they cranked the price up. Even Converse got really expensive. You know, that's, I haven't yeah. bought a Converse a long day, but like, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. The, yeah. The Converse Chuck Taylors. Yeah, the black, last... the black with the white toe. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, those used to be like 10, 15 bucks. Do you know Nike actually own Converse now? Do I they? I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought, because like, you know, they made a joke the other day. It's like, ha ha. And then uh, when I was at the store, and then, because like they were the store running right to Nike, it's like, wow, it's like, interesting. You guys are going to compete with each other. They're like, oh, actually, they own us. Like, oh, what? <laughs> 12 one donuts. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Tell me what donuts you want, so then. Can I get you donuts. donuts? Can I get a Boston cream? Huh? Oh, I guess you're getting Boston cream then. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Kyle's like, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Actually, tell me a bit uh, how you met Jeff. Oh, that was that was weird. Um. So, Miss Aru. Michelle, mm-hmm. uh huh. What? Why is that bad? No, oh, I'm weird. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> it was weird. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't want you to not get your donut. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even let me finish. It's kind of a like weird how we met. It's weird. <laughs> I, I, it's always scary when someone say uh, weird. It's like, you know, when you, um, I, I love that thing, cause, but it's really real. Like, you'll be talking to your girlfriend, like, oh, how's everything? Everything's great. And it's just, I, 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 so you ask your girlfriend, how's everything? Everything's great. And then two seconds later, I just think that it's weird how. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh, freak. It's weird how you're just like your dad in a lot of ways. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. I don't have a dad. <laughs> what does <it> mean? <laughs> Um, I mean, I could give you the generic response and just say we met on Christian Mingle because that's what I tell everybody else. <laughs> Wait, and a uh, lot of people go, "That's really nice." How about at cons? Is it um, is it how do people see you at con? Is it different when they tr- do? You find it different when people will see you with her and also see you, just you by yourself? Uh, yeah, I don't by myself. People don't want to talk to me. Why? Because of the tattoos. I don't know. I don't know why. Like if I'm like if we're Chill, a mother effer. <laughs> it's I I've I and I've asked people this and they go, I don't know. I just I, I don't know if it's like I'm not approachable. I feel like I am. I feel like I'm pretty like ha ha. I don't know what that means. <laughs> approachable, I guess. Um <laughs> but they'll they'll walk by me uh-huh. like at a con and then they'll tweet me later and say, Hey, I really wanted to say hi, but uh I was too nervous to talk to you. But when Jess is there almost 100% of the time people will come up and say hello. Hmm. But when it's just me, they, they'll they always message me later and say, I saw you walk by, but I didn't want to talk to you or I didn't want to bother you or something. Maybe it's like, I think a lot of it's the beard, to be honest. Like when I hmm. have a beard, uh, I look like, you know, but without the beard, chop someone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot more approachable. I wonder if that's the same with my long hair, though. Like, I don't know. I mean, long hair. Actually, no. Long hair is not with mainly like, oh, intimidating factors. So I don't know. But I like now I, short hair. Now I cut my hair, I look like I'm 16. No, you don't oh. look like you're 16. You look like an actor. Uh, yeah. I feel like I'd find you on some drama. Some K-drama. Or something. Yeah. My friend, uh, Reagan, I think you met her too. Uh, Reagan Catherine? Yeah. Yeah, she keeps comparing me to this one K-drama. I mean, Jess watched it too, but... Some K drama. Uh, the the, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, she loves that one. I still haven't seen it yet, and I think I'm. You good have now. sexy resting bitch face. Just says SRB. <laughs> SRB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I. People, yeah, it's always strange when people treat you differently next to who you're next to. I mean, every time I see you when, in public, people seem to be very friendly, though. But like in like Hawaii and everything. You know what's weird is I notice people will come up to you more when you're around. Well, okay, for me, I'm speaking from my personal experience. Mm. People will come approach me more if I'm talking to other people. 
which is really weird because you think it'd be the opposite. Like if I wanted to say hi to somebody, I wouldn't do it while they're in the middle of a conversation <laughs> with somebody. I would do it like while they're alone. Like obviously, you know, you don't look too busy. Maybe not. Uh-huh. time. But it's the opposite for me. People, they, if I'm with interrupt them, you. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember I was at a con once. This is like before I even met Jess. But I was, I think I was dressed up as like rogue or something. I don't remember. But I was eating Subway in a food court. Mm-hmm. It was at Dragon Con. Drinky Bear was there. And we were at a at a food court and I was like shoving my face full of like a Subway sandwich or something. Mm-hmm. And somebody was like, hey, can I get a photo of you? And I had like just shit hanging out of my mouth. And I was like, oh, I guess. <laughs> and then they took a photo of me and then they wanted to tell me how they thought it was weird that I was dressing as a girl character. Um, and he was like kind of judging me for it, like low key. But you didn't like, ask me for a photo. I, I know that's the weird part. He's like, great photo. Um, it's a little weird that you're dressed up like a female <laughs> character. And I was like, yeah, but you know, I made it into like, you know, like uh-huh. I'm a guy though. So I made it like a guy version and they're like, yeah, it's still a little weird though. And I remember Jesse was like, isn't it a little weird that you're like questioning an alternate reality that doesn't even actually exist. <laughs> and the guy was just yeah. like, okay. <laughs> and he just like walked <laughs> away. <laughs> Wait, how does this tie into what we were talking about? I don't know. What were we talking about? Oh, people like, approaching you. Oh, okay, okay. Just in general. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a weird approach. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, what? <laughs> it's just weird that it's always the moments where you're in the middle of something. People are like, hey, <laughs> let me talk to you. But if I'm just standing there, like, yes, you just want to come in the stream. Would, th- would this be easier for you? Because you're just screaming through the door. No, I think that's how she prefers it to be. Okay. okay. All right. Kind of half cut off because your mic. Anyway, she said, I look, she said I look like crap, which isn't true, but don't worry. You're not I'll, I'll, otherwise. I'll have her on later. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you miss? Don't worry, Brandon. We're just going through lots of other random stuff that's not anti related. No trip. <laughs> <laughs> Too big, Brent. Oh. Gross. I but remember yeah, somebody was... um, grabbed my backpack and almost threw me to the ground once to say hello. That was awkward. What? That's yeah, not any that, kind of hello that I know. I forgot where it was. I think it was Anime Expo or something. I was like walking really fast and I had my backpack on. And somebody grabbed the like the handle on the top uh, yeah, yeah. and like ripped me backwards. And it like almost pulled me. Like I'm, I almost lost yeah, my yeah. balance. And I turned around. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And he goes, hey, dude, got to get a selfie. And I was like, no. What the hell's the matter with you? I was like, you can't just grab people, dude. And he's like, oh. My bad. And I was like, yeah, you're fucking bad. See ya. <laughs> I just think <laughs> of walking. And then later on that day, he came up his girlfriend with his girlfriend and she made him apologize to me for doing oh, wow. that. He's like, hey, man, just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I just got so like, meaning he in. also went back to his girlfriend and said, hey, guess who I saw today? And I yanked his and backpack. Here, and here's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and his girlfriend's like, yeah, no, that's bad. Go back and say, say you're sorry. Yeah. So that was, it was nice. I appreciated that he came and found me later. But yeah. I was just like, yeah, dude, just next time, just like I tap me on the shoulder, you know, <laughs> just like uh-huh. rip my backpack. Yeah, so, I'm gonna be pissed. I was. So, not not like, you know, I, not that I get pissed at people that ask for a photo, but it's just. But the, someone who you know, I yank you. People, dude. Yeah, <laughs> in general. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is one thing I've been actually brought up in my uh, latest YouTube video. I get a lot of strange messages because they think I am the girls in my photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know sometimes you also have to deal with a lot of messages. And here's the thing. Like, I, I kind of interested from your story as well. Like, sometimes if they think you're Jess or they think you're Jess' boyfriend, what do you get the same type of message that I get? Or, like, what is that like for you? This is... <laughs> I don't get people thinking I'm Jess. Um, but she's laughing right now because I talk about this shit all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's the people. <laughs> she said, "Heavy sigh." <laughs> uh, it's it's the weird read between the lines kind of shit for me. Once in a while, I'll get a DM where somebody's like, "Hey, I would like to have sex with your girlfriend." And I'm like, "All right, creep. See ya." And I just like delete it. Hmm. But but it's the it's the the one I see all the time is uh mm-hmm. especially like on the more lewd photos people mm-hmm. will comment and they'll go 
Wow, fake nerd boy. So lucky. You're so lucky. And that's the, it's like no, really, <laughs> people wouldn't think too much of it. But since I see it all the time, every photo she posts where she's in a bikini or something. Wow, fake nerd boy. You're so lucky. It'll, I like it your voice when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lucky. It'll, uh, and, and it's only because I get tagged like 15, 20 times by guys saying the same shit. It's the same line over and over. Fake nerd boy. You're so lucky. So I'll try to beat him to the punch and where she posts photos like that i'll go like break nerve while you're still lucky in the <laughs> uppercase lowercase and i don't know, like it's such a weird way to say that you think she's hot you know or to tell me that you want her in a weird way i know that's not what you're saying but that's I, it's 100 percent what you mean and they don't realize that because it's not on a photo it's of weird. her in a costume going, wow, you're so lucky. She's so creative, man. I wish I can't wait until I Find get a someone. girlfriend that's like mm-hmm. super talented like that. Or I get to care for somebody like that. It's always, you know, half naked pictures. And they're like, you're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you <should> have- <laughs> that's how I read it. At least. I feel like every time you talk about this, you have already like, I feel like the more you do, I'm kind of worried because you have this persona. So for like every time you talk about this. Hold on, I have one saved. You should make that into like a design as well to say you're so lucky. Because it seems nice if someone don't know the context, but then if you know the context, like you're so lucky. I have I have two different voices. That one's the the kind of creepy stuff, and then I have another one. Listen to this comment. He's like, just when I thought I was done fapping for the day, I gotta hit the bathroom again. <laughs> And then he did like rolly eyes, like, guess I gotta go to the bathroom again, <laughs> you know, to masturbate. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you come with that to me? Why? Why do I need to know that? Like, I'm gonna be like, yeah, brother, get it, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> high five him. <laughs> what do you want me to say to that? Nice, <laughs> nice, dude. Same, same brother. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? anyway but they would never do that in real life like t- yeah, say no. that say that to you some guy told me like he fucking hated me in real life one time and that he didn't and he- that's because that you, was weird that's because you dated some dating someone yeah it was that- it was a couple years ago they came up to the booth and he like went out to shake my hand and i was like hey honey nice to meet you and he goes hey dude i used to fucking hate you because you were dating her and i was like oh Good okay talk. and then he goes i don't anymore and i was like <laughs> Very cool. Have a good day. <laughs> Look, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, well, oh my god, that's See, something. I'm that glad it was just an awkward handshake. It's not like they pull out a gun or a knife because it's so you just easy. escalated that so much. I know. Hard. No, because in my house, imagine them going like, huh, and then go like, but what if it's like, I used to hate you. Goodbye, Brian. You know, like I don't know. <laughs> My head just go through like different conversations. It's like, so dark. It it, ha- <laughs> it it I don't know, man. I was at cons, you know. It's it, it's scary. At least it was a handshake, and he didn't hog tie you, press your ass with a lit candle. <laughs> okay, that's already your fantasy. That's not mine. Okay, okay you're right. You're right. You're right. You're, let's let's back it up. Reel it in. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Hey, be sure to use the command dildos. <laughs> <laughs> go to fitnerd.com and maybe get 10% <laughs> off use the command dildos go get some merch so I where, actually where are we going where has this has gone in a weird direction save yeah, it Martin always do. next topic N- next time I mean next thing yeah <laughs> next whatever <day. laughs> uh, but no like I oh sorry uh, I thought about I mean where's the next step for you other than I mean the, I know you're doing your short stuff your apparel stuff do you have other plans for other stuff as well? Like bigger projects? <sighs> I we all don't do. know. All do. I did. I had a lot mm-hmm. of stuff I wanted to do at the beginning of this year. Even the end ch- of last year. But it changed a lot too, right? Because of how you things change. Yeah. Like, yeah you said, oh, this is actually better what I want to do. And then I'm like, oh, that really got picked up, pick up by everyone else. And that is the thing, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to, um, like we got a warehouse here. And uh, I was like, great, let's expand. It'll be cool. 
and then stuff blew up too much. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was like, I can't do this anymore. It was it, like, it's a good problem to have, but stuff got, it popped off too much to where it's too many orders for me to keep up with regularly. And it was mm -hmm. so stressful to where I was in the warehouse, like five, six hours a day, just packing stuff. And that didn't include creating new designs or marketing and anything or doing anything online, answering emails, maintaining the site, um, which I was still having to do behind the scenes. So I was mentally just like fucked up 15 hours a day, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I was so stressed out. And because I was so stressed out, I was like, I can't do it anymore. So I have an external fulfillment company helping me do all the fulfillment stuff now so that I can focus back on the actual brand and doing the designs. It's the exact remember same clothes and everything. Just remember I'm not back then, it was just in the room that you're in right now. I remember yes. you have it on shelves. Yeah. Dude, I talk about that all the time with Kyle. We're like, isn't that crazy that we used to like hand fold everything? Yeah. And I would. My office. And <laughs> just it, have boxes stacked yeah, I just up. feel like also it feels like a few months ago, but no, it was like two years. Thanks, Amaranth. Hey, yeah, it was like two years ago, but it was still feels like it was six months ago. It happens fast. So, 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 okay. So there should be like a simulation game of like how to expand. So your next expansion is going to be what? How are you going to streamline even more? Is it growing know. enough that you're going to streamline it more? So I would like to hire like, because already it's becoming more. Since I'm doing design stuff, I'm quickly learning that. Are you designing less, less... your stuff? Yeah, I'll, like I'll work with artists, but then I'll take the art that I get from them, and then I'll still do the the whole design process of whatever thing it is. Uh -huh. But I'm getting to the point now where that's taking so much time away from the other shit I need to do, like the mm -hmm. admin stuff and keeping the site going. Mm -hmm. um, that I want to hire permanent designers. Mm. to just that's that's what they do they do that's the art crazy. they do the layout and the design that way i can just like keep them on a retainer basically and be like hey can you just do designs for the brand and i'll do x amount a month and use what we use and do you do limited runs to... or how does it work like do they did the design come in and then all right we only do it for one season and then they'll never come back What's some that? things some things i'll i'll do that and then it's always like a gamble because you don't know what people will like but what if they like but, it so much then like, okay, that'd be weird for me not to sell something that yeah, people so that's really want, the, uh, right? Like the branded stuff, like the stunt hoodies, like the the ones with just the big logo on it. Mm -hmm. I was like, nobody's going to want those. I'll just do like one quick run because it's, you know, it's just a logo. Like Nobody cares. And those actually do better than anything else. So it's, it's weird. You can never know like what people are going to like and what they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then other things that like people like a lot, but I like keeping it as a limited edition thing just because mm -hmm. it. I don't know, like the skate decks. Ah, um, yeah, that was cool. That everybody... was really cool, by the way. You uh, actually, for those of you who don't know, uh, the fire that happened in Australia, uh, you helped, what, you sold one and you donated money to the charity, right? Yeah, it was like my two, like I had a couple that I just have for myself because we only got a certain amount made, but I um, sold those off and donated whatever money it was. That was really cool of you. Thanks. But, Thanks. Yeah, char like, I want to do more charity stuff as well. Um, same. I love doing that stuff. At least, at least a couple times a year, I like to mm -hmm. do some sort of charity thing, even if it's you know like a hundred dollars or something. I still just want to do anything I can here and there. I used to actually do some. Uh, I used to do a lot of print run where I do once a year, where yeah. you know I I you know I mean I would talk to my models and or cosplayers like, hey, by the way, I want to do a print run. You know, just letting you guys know, is it okay? So then I can just sell it, but all the money go directly to charities. You know. You should right. be pretty cool about it. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I have Let's an collab. idea. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to collab? Do you, you get that collab? question? Do you get that a lot? Actually, do you want to mm. collab? No, I get a lot of artists being like, "Oh no, I know what you're saying. I thought you meant other from other brands." No, I know what you're oh, saying. Oh, I don't know. I, get, I don't. I don't even I, know. Like in general. Um, from brands, no, I don't get the collab question a lot. Mm. Um, but. I will get a lot of people that DM me and they're like, Hey, let's collaborate. And then if I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> if I follow up with like, what do you have in mind? They're like, well, you, you give me stuff and then I'll take a photo in it. And I'm like, um, you mean you just want free stuff? Is, it, <laughs> is that what you meant? Is that, <laughs> what is that the question? Meant? <laughs> Which it's like, you know, I can't blame people for trying. Like I don't, I don't get upset at it. True. I mean, because but, at a certain point, that's what we do anyway. Bye, Jess. All right, bye, Jess. Get some donuts. Bye, Jess. She'll be back. Watch. 
<laughs> now we can talk about loves us too much. Now we can actually talk about real stuff. Now that she's <laughs> the gone. real problems. <laughs> <laughs> now Don't we can talk about Jess behind her back. <laughs> Isn't great. she so great? It's fucking <laughs> annoying. How dare she? Excuse me, sir. Hey, did you already order the donuts, though? I like how you guys are talking through my stream when you guys are in the same house. Well, so I don't have to yell, you know? Yeah. What? Yeah, because I yell and then I'm just screaming. But she doesn't Quickest hear me. Type. Yeah. Oh, she did. And it said, enjoy your nuts. Are you, <laughs> I, have you guys thought about moving? Nah. Eh. Nah. What's doing? You, you guys are in the Arizona right now, right? Yeah. I like Arizona, though. It's way better than California. It is IMPO. March right now. So it's not my bad. opinion. Uh -huh. That's just my opinion. A lot of people will disagree, and that's cool. I think I think California is very cool for industry stuff. Mm. But for I you guys, you constantly... need to be. No. Yeah. And I think a lot of like streamers and stuff are figuring that out. Is, unless you collab with people a lot, it's mm -hmm. you don't need to be in LA or where everybody else is. A lot of people are starting to move. To cheaper areas mm, 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 true it's just it's way easier you know yeah yeah it's cheaper and it no cheaper. water restrictions water restrictions wait is yeah. that a thing yeah Shit oh yeah because you guys don't have drought we have drought right yeah. yeah and also there's way more people per small area and i actually looked that up one time it's because arizona has like back in the day like the the earlier in the 19 early 1900s or something when they were divvying up water from the Colorado river, Arizona got like the biggest chunk of it and it's stayed that way since. Mm -hmm. So Arizona gets like way more water usage for way less people than California does. And that's yeah, why there's, California like, is so crowded. Like I thought this whole, uh, coronavirus thing going to make it less crowded. It still take me an hour to drive to Santa Monica from downtown LA. Really? Yeah. If not more, why aren't people, why are people like fucking around? I don't know. They want to die. I've been getting like so annoyed lately. Oh, I'll yeah? be going through like Instagram stories and seeing people I know like still out like at fucking bars and stuff. Yeah, I mean small gathering. That's everyone's good. I think it's okay, but we're just not equipped for it yet. No, no. not yet. And now it's cool because uh, I think Kyle. I think Kyle told me today that officially Arizona has shut down uh, like bars and restaurants. Mm -hmm. I think. So it's, um, it's about time. Yeah, for us, I think California-wise, I don't think that... They think they're shutting them down, but also nothing more than 100 people. That's still a lot of people. It is still a lot. But it's going to be weird for us because that we go to events so often. We used to... Like, this is the con... I got a batch, uh, a pin from my friend the other day, uh, from a friend called Colin. He gave me a pin that said, I survived con season. Um, technically, it's true. Con season is over before it got started. Yeah, we... we uh had to reschedule Armageddon Expo because of it. Mm, mm -hmm. We were like watching it really hard and leading up to it, we were like, mm, really nervous. Just before anything kind of popped off, I was like, I don't know if I want to travel right now, dude. Like being in airports and stuff. And then literally, dude, like, did you see that one? That, did you see that one picture or even video? Like people are trapped in, I don't know which airport it was, but they were it was at the airport. It no, is Chicago? Airport, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just in the, I was just at the airports um, going to PAX. Like it was a day over, but mm. they were trapped there for eight hours. Yeah. It was but nuts. I feel like that defeat the whole point of social distancing with people shoulder yeah. to shoulder for eight hours. Well, that's the thing is that's why I was like, getting all weird. Cause I was like, even if we got to New Zealand, they only had like mm. five confirmed cases at the time and they were all like in corn. And it's like, that's not what I was worried about. Like physically being there. It was the going, going through airports and being on a plane for like 13 14 hours and then coming around back. all those people and then trying to get back and at that point people started shutting down their borders and stuff and i was like what if we mm -hmm. get stuck somewhere and we can't get back into the country and then like two days later uh new zealand was like mandatory 14 day quarantine to anybody coming into the country so at that point we're like fuck wait is that the case now yeah yeah, it was like a few days ago. Like I mm. want to say like four days ago or something. I think my they mom wanted to go back to Hong Kong too for you know whatever reason. Actually, Hong Kong is safer right now, but they're doing yeah. the same thing right now. I think it's a fourteen day think, mandatory yep. quarantine. So I'm not. I need to call her tonight to see you know if she's gonna go back anymore because like it'll be, be weird to go for back two weeks. Yeah. So 
So unless yeah. you can stay somewhere, but uh, I don't know. It, it's it's a mess. Yeah. I, I didn't expect you know our um, apocalypse gonna be like this. What's more supposed to be like? Dude, wasteland. like everybody should. I'm not gonna like get into it too much, but like the whole Trump administration, we're downplaying it so hard. And every, like everybody, the CDC was like, "This is gonna be way worse than Italy within the next ten days." This was like but two. We're weeks not getting ago. tested, and I don't think this is actually a political issue. This is even a just human life issue. Yeah, no, hundred percent. But there aren't yeah. any tests because you funding can't was get, pulled yeah. from it a while ago. And the whole thing is like you can't get you can't get virus if you're not tested positive. So <laughs> is that does this mean? Yeah, it's like hey. <laughs> But you know what the whole thing before, right? Like I actually saw, I read about the story. Uh, the um, Seattle. The reason why Seattle blow up, like they actually found out oh, there's so many cases, is because uh, a doctor, Doctor Wu, I believe, um, Elizabeth Wu, I think. Uh, anyway, I looked her up last night. Um, they she they only found out because she was Ill illegally again. This is not supposed to be a legal issue. It's a human life issue. She was illegally testing people for the virus, and then she mm. know that they're getting it. And that's why they're finding out the cases because she, like, did it, you know. But they were actually getting they're tested. They're actually positive. Yeah, exactly. Whether it was legal or not, like. Correct. Because right now, like, I, I mean, not, I'm sure at this very point, but the last few weeks was like you cannot get tested unless you were in contact with a confirmed case. Right. But you can't find someone with a confirmed case if they weren't tested either. Well, it's so, scary because I read a, a bunch of articles from people that are like, I have had a fever for three days. I've gone to a couple of different hospitals. I've had mm -hmm. blood tests done. They're saying I don't have a cold. I don't have a flu, but they mm -hmm. have no uh, COVID-19 tests and they won't give me one. They won't give. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. And they're like, I probably have it because I tested negative for everything else. But who knows? Because there aren't any fucking tests anywhere. And this is like downtown LA. This shit's happening. Yeah. So I and it's like, that's up. like oof, that in New York are like the two places we should be most concerned about. It's such a heavy population of people. I think New but, York, I think I just saw the news. New York is the biggest city that has it now, right? In America. Probably. I think there's more people per like square foot there, which we, we, Jess and I were talking about that earlier. Um, is if we wanted to go outside, we could uh -huh. because Arizona is huge and we could just fuck off to like on a hike or something and there'd be nobody around. But we were talking about how bad it would be for if you live in like downtown Manhattan or even one of the boroughs, it's like you can't escape. you can't go outside. And even if you tried to get out of the city, you'd still have to be around people like on public transit or mm -hmm. something else, to, you know, around other people to get anywhere. What's that uh, singer or actor named Jared? J I forget his name. But Jared Leto? Anyway, yeah, he just Does came he back. No, 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 no. But he just came back from like a seven day meditation self-meditation right. thing where he cut off internet or like phone or right. anything and he just came back from this like what just happened yeah like isn't that <laughs> not like there's some people that who just came back from some kind of vacation but with no internet and then they came back like huh two weeks later those are the people that would be safe in a zombie apocalypse kind just of yeah nowhere. yeah yeah you don't want to be around people <laughs> this is the closest thing we have to a zombie apocalypse so far it's, you know, what's crazy. <clears throat> and I saw a bunch of people saying this is we have so much uh, media and movies and stuff. Talk about talking about pandemics happening like this. Mm -hmm. And yet we're like the least prepared for it. Oh, we're definitely not. Yeah. We're not prepared for it. Like we think we know we, what we would do. Cause we see it in the movies all the time. Everyone thinks they have a plan. And know. then we just buy a bunch of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, like that's the go-to. <laughs> I actually need toilet paper. I think we were running low at the house. I'm super pumped that I always get a lot of toilet paper anyway before this ever happened. Yeah. I haven't bought toilet paper in like a month. Mm -hmm. um, but because I usually buy like the pack of 30 rolls or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still got like a good like 12 rolls left. I saw a picture of people buying milk. A lot of milk. Like but that doesn't make sense. full of milk. Yeah. Like literally carts full of milk. I'm like either you better donating them because they're going to expire. Like you can't hoard milk. It's perishable. Did Extremely was, perishable. Did you see that video? There was a woman, somebody standing behind a woman in line and her whole cart was filled with gallons of milk. And uh -huh. on the video, the person was like, why do you, what are you going to do with all that oh, yeah. milk? And the lady went, I don't have to answer to you. <laughs> yeah, I saw a post about it. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> like, what's going to do with it? It's just, uh, here's the people when they're panic, they do dumb stuff. That's the problem. But it's not even helpful dumb stuff no it's not like, you like know. you're not even hoarding food you're hoarding like 
fucking milk and toilet paper. Like yeah, you're just gonna drink all that milk and shit yourself a lot because of it. But then you'd be out of toilet paper, so I don't know, dude. That's strange. Americans. Um, America. No, I mean that's happened in Toronto too. Someone was uh I think someone what the toilet paper? Someone stabbed someone over toilet paper. Yeah, but Toronto's really Americanized. This yeah. might as well just be America at that point. <laughs> no, we're from America. I would expect that from normal Canadians, but if you live in Toronto, yeah, yeah, you're you're kind of close. That's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway that, that's good enough. Uh, oh, you're already talking about how much toilet paper they have left in the chat. We're flex. I mean, have you seen like that? What people are saying now, like if you TP someone's house, is that a flex or is that a Simon said that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, no. If you need toilet paper, try the Korean marts. I actually heard about that. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, the yeah, Asian like, supermarkets. A lot of Asian food stores still have plenty of everything. Yeah. Because they're not fucking panicking. Now, I saw a post about this yesterday, and then some Asian people are like, oh, don't let the white people know the secret. But at the same time, it's like, you bring business to Asian community. I'm like, that's good, you know? Especially right now. I'm worried. Like, I have a knife with me on all time now, because in case someone's try to fight me. I've uh, quite a few people have told me that uh, gun sales are going up in Chinese communities right now because yeah, they're worried about I'm like, that's... the virus is not going to kill me, but people are going to. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't imagine what it's like to feel in danger of your life because something originated media based, something originated uh -huh. in their minds <laughs> from another country that they think you're from because it's not just Chinese people. People are looking uh -huh. at all Asian communities going, you're oh, yeah. the same. Yeah. Oh, they, especially people can't differentiate between like Korean, Japanese, or even Filipinos. And like, what, like they were getting, yeah, I see a lot of video of people getting beat up because, yeah. Yeah. And spat on. Like, I read that stuff on Twitter all the time. Somebody's like, somebody spit on me today. And yeah. they're like, I was just standing there. <laughs> and then they walked away. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? It, it's just strange. I'm like, ah, oh, what? I mean, I, I don't know. So I'm right now, I'm a little bit fear of my life. Just, a little bit i mean i don't blame you yeah so hopefully i mean hopefully i'll be okay well i just can't wait to forcing people to stay inside yeah just you know, that would give me i bought actually a bunch i went to uh china supermarket the other day very crowded because we all try to stock up uh right. i just bought a bunch of cup noodles because i wanted cup noodles <laughs> i just wanted cup noodles i wasn't here for the apocalypse i was like i just needed cup noodles i mean all. yeah i feel that i've been getting a lot of postmates like delivery stuff yeah and then when I get the bag, I purposely try to lift the bag from the bottom. And I'm like, nobody touched it on this side. I don't grab it by the handle. Oh. I grab it by the bottom and then I tear the side of it open. <laughs> and then I take the food out and then I wash my hands before I eat it. I yeah, I hand sanitize her, like everything and like Lysol everything now. That's, that seems safe. It's just... I'm worried about our donuts now. It's, it's just <laughs> I'm going to Lysol here. our donuts. She, she came back. Already? No, funny. no, no. I'm not concerned with the donuts getting here. I'm, I'm going to sterilize them. <laughs> so, I'm what do you slice all the donuts before I eat them? Just to what, be safe. What feeling do you want in your donut? Uh, Lysol, please. Lysol. Can you just pump it full of hand sanitizer? <laughs> I'm check. Oh, apparently I'm frozen. That's fine. That's great. Um, your video froze? For just me. Just me. It, oh, it happens okay. sometimes. All right. All right. He's just sitting very still, guys. Yeah. Very, very still. <laughs> Thank you. Nobody told me about it. Told you about uh, what? That was frozen on, on stream. Forces, forces I effect. mean, they probably thought you were just sitting real still. I can do that. I just <laughs> can't see me. Professional. Hi, welcome to the professional stream. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Martin. <laughs> All right. This is great. It has been great. I actually enjoy a lot. So even when we're not doing it through this stream, I we hang out. We talk a lot. So We do. We have good yeah. talks. Yeah. We, Look at us. Who'd have thought? Right? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Look, Jess is going, aw. It's because she's seeing your real side, Martin. Yeah. Whatever. Just so you guys know, that's like the biggest compliment Martin's ever given me. Ever. I wouldn't even call that a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and even that, he bails on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just explaining the situation. That's all. It's, it's not like It's a not compliment. A compliment. <laughs> saying that we have a know. conversation. That's, that's it, you know? It's just like we're talking. <laughs> That, that's it like why is that a compliment just, we're talking they're like yeah Martin nice compliment show that's the biggest compliment ever my heart is full that, that's it this is too much for me 
That's it. I, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm shutting it down. I'm just in. It's like completely like. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. End stream. Not, not even like saying that. That's end stream right now. <laughs> oh, uh, golly. But yes, how how can people find you? Uh, fake nerd boy on everything. Twitter, Instagram. That's kind of all I use. TikTok. I got a TikTok now. Don't you I barely use it, but yeah. it's there. What, I wait, put okay. uh, Red Bull cans on my butt. What do you think about TikTok? Though? Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, I did. I like TikTok. It's fun. I'm glad it's like socially acceptable for older people to get on it now. Because back in the day, it? it was kind of weird. I don't know. I, I feel old every time I'm on it. And I'm not even oh, that yeah, old. Oh, yeah. 100%. But I see older people on it. And but I feel, like you have, kind of- I feel like you have to be either very young or very old to be cool. To be like, oh, yeah, that's nice. But anything in between just seem kind of strange. It's, it's shown me that... Um, younger kids are really fucking funny Mm -hmm. and uh anybody like older than like 24 just kind of sucks that's us that's us yeah we suck we're not funny it's a bummer but (laughs) (laughs) it's what we do what we do (laughs) because we're not funny because we're not funny that's why we're making shirts because we're not funny yeah exactly (laughs) i saw the one of the tiktok girls on like jimmy fallon the other day too like it's just a thing now. Oh, was it that? I forgot her name. Charlie? I think Phil DeFranco. Yeah, yeah. Phil DeFranco covered that. Yeah. So I haven't seen it in a while, but like, uh, anyway, do I don't like, I do. Unfortunately, I yes. I it's, just, it's just Martin one photo and everything, but it's, I so, it's so hard to decide like what works because my stuff is so random. Like my really cool educational stuff. Now, I actually, I am actually making a video right now. I made it last week. I recorded it, but I haven't edited it yet. Um, of professional photographer <laughs> looking at TikTok or like you know, comment on TikTok, right? <laughs> so, I know my, my TikTok is it's not funny, it's not funny at all. Maybe I mean, no, that. actually, the one that got the most view like two millions or one millions view are the stupid ones. Wait, you got a million views on a TikTok? Reflex, yes. Did you actually? Yeah, I have one video that has 1.5, I think, and I don't have over two millions. What? Yeah. Oh God! Now my things. What was that? That's my Alexa connected connected to my phone because I put up TikTok. So let's see. (laughs) It's my it's my sex robot. Uh, Uh, Oh, that's what I thought. That's yeah. You know, you you have one too. Yeah, you you get it. I got two. Oh yeah. (laughs) No. Okay. (laughs) Anyway, no. There's a. Video of um, Bindi bowling in the Vegas room. Remember oh. where, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was, she was just bowling in, in Vegas. And that has 1.8 million view. And the other one is just two kids dressed up as like marshmallow or um, deaf mouth. That, that mouse. Oh. And th- that one has 3 million. Why? I don't know. I don't know. The internet's weird. This is a fun video. This is me surrounded by toilet paper, but now could be a weird video to post because now I feel like I'm really wasteful. You should do it as a flex. <laughs> as a flex? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And all my the stuff that I think would be very cool, like my tutorial stuff or like, oh, me behind the scene or like, oh, me doing a really cool photo shoot at like an arcade with this neon lights, you know, at the final photo as well. Nothing. Like 300 views. No, sorry, 500. Maybe because there are already so many photographers that do that, where they're like, here's me approaching these random people and showing them my Instagram. This at 500K. Like, cool. It's just a guy cosplaying with the DVD logo. That's it. And just moving around. Hey, you got to take what you can get, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I feel like one of those parent things like, honey, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed, but mostly confused. But I'm not mad, you know? It's just... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's why I put a Red Bull can on my butt. I'm like, let's see how this does. <laughs> and how did that go? I don't know. It's got like 4,000 views or something. I don't know. It's not a lot. But Jess was really stoked and very proud of me. I think and my favorite is still your dropping the phone, the Stranger Thing looking one. Oh, yeah. That was so That cool. took me so long to make. I, I was like, like, how long did that take you? No, I canceled like a whole stream so that I could make that <laughs> back the day. Make it to stream, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm wearing booty shorts, my bad. Is your TikTok also fake nerd? Or fake it's nerd fake nerd boy, boy yeah. 
everybody, please go follow him at Fake Nerd Boy. Go follow my TikTok, y'all. On TikTok. And so you can Play see me. him have a Red Bull can. Hey, no, I still trying to get you that Red Bull fridge. I never got around to it. I forgot about that. Yeah. No, because I was talking with actual Red Bull, like people that work there. I was like, can you send them a fridge? And they're like, yeah, but they, I think they forgot. I mean, it doesn't matter now because like I don't stream anymore. But Yeah. I was going to surprise you with a, with a, with a fridge. Oh, eh, guys, he's going to surprise me for our anniversary. Wow. Well, our our anniversary. First. He's going to give me a Red Bull themed sex robot. Let's still get put it between your butt. Yeah. Booty flex. <laughs> no bubbly. Never. God. I'm never streaming again. This is already like the closest to a reunion. This tour. is the closest I will come to streaming. <laughs> I was like, can you finish that sentence? <laughs> I had to think about it. I thought a coronavirus <laughs> notification popped up on Discord. What? Does it tell you? Like, oh, it's like. It says connect your Spotify account to display your music in your status. But I thought it popped up and said coronavirus update. I was like, oh God, what's okay. happening? No, I'm really excited about because like my like now that everyone's indoor, this whole the podcast right, right now, this one we're doing, it's actually on Spotify as well. Oh, check that out. I feel so legit. Even though anyone yes, can do it. Listen to it on Spotify. Yeah. Hi. Hi guys. Just so anyway. You know. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to bore people. I feel like they're gonna at the point it's like, what are you guys talking about, man? You know, we went know, from we're, we're rambling. That's almost... fine anyway, because I got a pee, so we're we're at a perfect point. Please, please go pee. All right. Anyway, All right. thank you so much, guys, for joining. Uh, this is fun. Uh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the host, and thanks Jess for partially participating. I think I... the donuts are here. That's what she's screaming about. Enjoy the donuts. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks for joining, guys. Have a great night. <laughs>